Oh my god, dude, last night was so scary. I'm a boss out, stop calling my phone, I've been iced out. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another freaking video. Yo, welcome back, welcome back. So today, it's gonna be like a story time type video, but like with other footage, because I filmed this, you know, so like... Stay around, stay tuned, you know, let's get it. Let's have a good time. I've never done this before, so I don't know if I'm gonna be good at telling the story, but like, screw it, let's do it. So it all started yesterday when I was on my way to Long Beach and my video uploaded. Yo! New video just posted, link in bio, it's funny as shit! Go! Looks like a great time, fun time, and then all of a sudden I'm driving at night and then it goes beep, 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 beep. Oil pressure, oil pressure, oil pressure. I'm like, that's weird, I just put oil in it. Then the car stopped accelerating. And I was like, shit. So I had to pull over on the, the, the grapevine, which is the huge mountain you have to go over before you get like down south, like into the LA area type area thing, like right before Ventura. And I was just sitting there on the side of the road, a CHP came. Oh my god, we're literally on the side of the freeway. Jesus, RIP another car, RIP another car. Okay, so some shit went down, all right? And I'm on a hill and there's no service here. So I've been trying to make calls to my mom, AAA, AAA won't go through. Okay, and luckily some random like towing company pulled over and said, hey, do you need help? And we were like, yeah. And like, there's literally nothing around here. There's literally nothing around here. And semis are just passing me right next to me. And it's really scary, but whatever. See, uh, see that? My mom like didn't want me to leave the car at first. And like, she wanted me to just go to Long Beach. I was gonna pay the guy to drive me to Long Beach, but then it was gonna be like another like $350 to tow my car with us. And I was like, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. I'm not doing, my mom said she didn't wanna do that. And then they came back and said it was gonna be 1200 to tow it to Long Beach. I was like, okay, well, definitely not doing that. And then they were gonna leave the car in Bakersfield and take me to Long Beach. I said, why would I do that? I can't get back to Bakersfield and get my car. So then while I was still deciding with my mom what the hell I was gonna do, stranded in 25 degree weather on the grapevine in the pitch black on the side of the freeway where there's semis coming right next to my head. The tow company left and was like, all right, well call us if you need help or anything. And then two hours later, me and my mom finally come to a conclusion of what we're gonna do. So thanks mom for two hours of me freezing my ass off. And then I called it that tow truck company back. I'm like, hey, can you come up here? And he's like, what, what, can barely hear me. And he's like, okay, if you can hear me, I'm coming back and we'll talk. I was like, thank the Lord. Thank God, finally, the savior, the savior. And then once he got there, it took another hour of me calling my mom and dad to see what the hell I was gonna do, what, what we were gonna do at all. And then finally we came to the conclusion, after an hour, that we were gonna leave the car there overnight and I was just gonna get the hell out of there and go home. So then I packed all the important stuff up from the car and left. And then an hour and a half later, so this is at like maybe 10 now, I got to Bakersfield. And the tow truck driver guy was so nice, super, super nice. He even bought me Taco Bell. He made sure I was all good. And then he was like, all right, well, you can take the train or the bus home. I was like, well, I'd rather take the train. It's faster and more comfortable and more spacious. Look at the train schedule. <laughs> no trains at all going home that night. I was like, all right, shit. And I looked at the bus schedule. There was one bus leaving from Bakersfield California to San Jose, California, which was like a four hour and 20 minute drive, LOL 420. <laughs> so right away, bought that ticket, no matter what, just so I have a for sure way of getting home. And then after he bought me Taco Bell, it was maybe like 10.45, I think, when he dropped me off, and my bus came at 11.40. So I was in Bakersfield for an hour by myself, not doing anything, but I was like, you know what? There's a carnival right next to the bus stop. I'm just on the streets, this is sketch, I'm scared, but you know what, let's just get some freaking artsy shots, yo. After that, I got really scared, so I stopped. But I waited for the bus and got on the bus. Yes. Thank God. And then I got 
into San Jose. First of all, I thought I, I thought I was going to downtown San Jose. Nope, went to the east side of San Jose. So that was sick. I had to call my dad and say, hey, sorry, I'm on the east side of San Jose. But it was like a 10 minute drive, but I, I just felt bad. And I got into San Jose at about five, I wanna say, maybe like 5, 10, 5, 15 a.m. <laughs> Didn't know what the hell I was gonna do. Like I was just freezing cold. I was literally I packed I didn't I didn't pack for the snow and there was snow on the mountain where I was. There was literally snow on the mountain right next to me. I was freezing my ass off. I had authentics on, Vans Authentics, and one sweatshirt. Wh what? So then my dad picked me up and then he drove me home. And I got home at about 6 a.m. Yeah. I went to bed at like 7 a.m. when the sun was coming out. So that was sick. But now a little car update. Uh, the car, as of right now, because this is the next day, is still on the mountain. Well, I'm pretty sure it's on the mountain. I left it on the mountain. If CHP towed it, they towed it, and that's going to be screwed. But I'm going to make some calls today, see if I can figure anything out. It is a Saturday, so that's going to be pretty rough. But yeah, that's that's my story, everybody. How the scariest night of my life, because I was stranded. It took me 11 and a half hours to get home. That's insane from when my car broke down. So I was just dead. I'm still dead. Um, yeah, that's my story. Comment down below if you guys like my story. If you guys want me to do a couple more story times, I'll, I can tell you. I could. Yo, I actually have some stories, so... Comment down below if you want me to do some more story times. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Make sure you click the like button. I can't do it. I, I can't do it. Make sure you click the like button. And you know what? Have a great freaking day. And I will see you guys on Friday. Later.